We have some breaking news from the world of The Walking Dead that Maggie and Negan are getting their own spin-off show in 2023, the show being titled Isle of the Dead. We don't know too much about the show as of now, but this show is set to take place in New York City, more specifically, Manhattan. All we have to go off right now is the fact that it takes place in New York, the first season will have six episodes, and this teaser poster, which doesn't look like much, but it actually has a ton of secrets, easter eggs, and even hints towards Rick Grimes and others. And a quick message before we get into it, make sure you subscribe to the channel with post notifications on so you don't miss out on breaking news like this. I have some more The Walking Dead videos planned to release soon, one talking about Rick Grimes' brother, Jeffrey Grimes, and the other talking about Aaron's fate and how Alexandria will fall to the Commonwealth. So make sure you stick around for that. But let's go over this announcement in this teaser poster, what it means and how it goes back to Rick Grimes. The news that these two were getting a spin-off show together was rather shocking and I was in disbelief while reading it. Maggie and Negan are certainly an odd pair to have team up and go to New York after the main show has ended. The synopsis for this new show that I've gotten from Entertainment Weekly, which is linked down below, reads this. Isle of the Dead envisions the popular Maggie and Negan characters traveling into a post-apocalyptic Manhattan long ago cut off from the mainland. The crumbling city is filled with the dead and denizens who have made New York City their own world full of anarchy, danger, beauty, and terror. This synopsis alone has me really hyped because it sounds like it could be such a good show. This concept is really amazing. Exploring a Manhattan that has been cut off from the mainland in the Walking Dead universe is something that I would really love to see. Although, this is a weird matchup, having Maggie and Negan together going to New York. I get a Negan spinoff, but with them both, it's just a little odd and weird. It's so odd that it has many fans, myself included, speculating that this show may not even be a real thing and may just be a cover-up for another spin-off or a character death in the final episode since they just started shooting it today. I'll talk about that in a second, but first, I want to go over some easter eggs and references to Rick Grimes that could possibly hint towards what this story will actually be about. On the door, front and center going into the city, it says the classic, don't dead open inside. Any fan of the show will certainly recognize this saying directly coming from season 1, episode 1. The door and the saying has become infamous with the show at this point, so it's probably just a little Nod. The directional sign down on the side of the road reads Lincoln Tunnel, New York City. Now this does confirm that the show is taking place in New York, and Lincoln Tunnel is a real place, but I really can't help but think of Andrew Lincoln, Rick's actor. Is it possibly teasing a return? I don't really know, and I'm going to say it isn't. It's just very coincidental that Lincoln Tunnel happens to be here. Perhaps it is a reference to something more, though. Here on the wall, it's written, Away With You, which is something else fans of the main show will surely remember. It was also featured in the intro for a couple of seasons. And just above it are these crows, the same ones from the current intro of the show. And the last real reference that I could spot is this one. Save us. This one could be a little bit of a stretch, but something the sanctuary had written on its walls after the war was Saviors Save Us. And because this spinoff will have Negan as its main character, it's very much a possibility that it's a reference to that. But what could this all mean? Well, I hate to beat the dead horse that everything is related to Rick Grimes, but this could very much have something to do with him. In 2023, not only are we getting this Maggie and Negan show, but we're also getting a Daryl and Carol spin-off show. These shows are both reportedly to feature two main characters from the main show, and they're both releasing in the same year with six episodes in its first season. This is where we enter the theory territory, so none of this is actually confirmed, and I'm just speculating from here on out. Both the Daryl and Carol show and the Maggie and Negan one will be about Rick Grimes. Now, let me explain this first theory, and then I'll talk about how these shows may not even happen. How this show ties back to Rick directly has to do with what happens in Part 3 of Season 11. We're now fully immersed in the Commonwealth arc, the last arc for the comic series and now the show. Yet, there's still one more part left to the season once Episode 16 airs. I highly doubt we'll get any mention or hint of Rick or the CRM in Part 2, but Part 3 will be it for the show, and the Rick movies are happening right after 
that, so something has to be set up for them. We know Andrew Lincoln was in Georgia a few weeks ago, possibly filming a scene, so it is possible that these shows have to do with the group finding out he's alive in part 3, and then splitting off into teams to actually go and find him. Michonne is already out there looking for Rick right now, and her location is not known, but she is looking for him. I say that in part 3, everyone else will find out, and that will cause them to want to search for Rick, Daryl and Carol going one way, while Maggie and Negan go the other, visiting New York. Especially since the CRM has been in and still has bases in New York, it's possible that's the reason they go there while Daryl and Carol go to another CRM location. Some of this does seem like it may be reaching a bit far, but I really wouldn't rule out this possibility. It does make sense when you think about it. We don't know where the Daryl and Carol show will take place as of right now, so it is very possible that it will be in one of the states that the CRM has established their community in. Another theory that I have seen circulating heavily since the second the announcement came out is that this show isn't even happening. You may be a little confused by this, so I'll explain it to the best I can. Back when the Walking Dead comic series was heading towards its end with issue 193, creator Robert Kirkman had fake covers made for issue 194, 195, and 196, even though he knew very well that those issues would never exist. He did this so people wouldn't be expecting the end of the series until they read it for themselves, and some comic stores even ordered these issues despite them being non-existent. Many are believed that this is the case for the show in these announced spin-offs in order to hide or cover up something else that we're getting. We know we're getting Tales of the Walking Dead for certain, we have a cast list and somewhat of a teaser that aired on AMC, but there's been nothing for the Daryl and Carol show. The announcement of the Maggie and Negan show comes as they just begin filming for the final episode today, and it's possible they release this news as a cover-up for a big death, such as Maggie or Negan's. Tons of leaks came out for episode 23 and were spreading around so social media like a contagious virus, so this may be to avoid that from happening again while being a cover-up for another project AMC has planned. Although I really do hope this show is actually real because I think the premise for it is just so cool. It actually has me more excited than the Daryl and Carol spin-off show, which I couldn't really care any less about. If they were in New York looking for Rick, that would just be an extra bonus. But I'm really glad that more of the universe is being expanded upon because I've been hoping for that for so long now. And I'm hoping that one day they actually take it over to the States and explore some European countries and other parts of the world. The end of the main show is just paving the way for countless more stories to be told in this universe. All of these spin-off shows are a prime example of that since we now have three new ones coming, and a fourth one with Fear the Walking Dead's return in April. It can seem like AMC took their four main characters and are just milking it, but I have high hopes and think good things are on its way. Anyway, I'm really curious about what you think this new spin-off show has in store for us fans and where the universe will go next once the main show ends. Make sure you leave a comment below and tell me your thoughts and theories. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If any other groundbreaking news like this comes out, I'll be the first to report it, so make sure you have post notifications on. I also have some video essays planned to release this month with more of the Walking Dead theories and leaks. Thanks everyone for watching, stay safe, and have a great day.